Collective Reading, March 2022. The Marriage of Heaven and Hell, A Song of Liberty. The eternal female groaned, it was heard over all the earth. Albion's coast is sick, silent, the American meadows faint. Shadows of prophecy shiver along by the lakes and rivers and mutter across the ocean. France, rent down thy dungeon. Gold in Spain, burst the barriers of old Rome. Cast thy keys, O Rome, into the deep down falling, even to eternity down falling, and weep. In her trembling hand she took the newborn terror, howling. On those infinite mountains of light, now bared out by the Atlantic Sea, the newborn fire stood before the starry king, flagged with grey-browed snows and thunderous visages. The jealous wings waved over the deep. The speary hand burned aloft, unbuckled was the shield. Forth went the hand of jealousy among the flaming hair, and hurled the newborn wonder through the starry night. The fire, the fire is falling. Look up, look up. O citizen of London, enlarge thy countenance. O Jew, leave counting gold, return to thy oil and wine. O African, black African, go winged thought, widen his forehead. The fiery limbs, the flaming hair, shot like the sinking sun into the western sea. Waked from his eternal sleep, the hoary element, roaring, fled away. Down rushed, beating his wings in vain, the jealous king, his grey-browed counsellors, thunderous warriors, curled veterans among helms and shields and chariots, horses, elephants, banners, castles, slings and rocks, falling, rushing, ruining, buried in the ruins on the Artona's dens, all night beneath the ruins, then their sullen flames faded, emerge round the gloomy king, with thunder and fire leading his starry hosts through the waste wilderness, he promulgates his ten commands, glancing his beamy eyelids over the deep and dark dismay, where the sun of fire in his eastern cloud, while the morning plumes her golden breast. Spurning the clouds, written with curses, stamps the stony law to dust, loosing the eternal horses from the dens of night, crying, Empire is no more, and now the lion and wolf shall cease. Let the priests of the raven of dawn no longer in deadly black with hoarse note curse the sons of joy, nor his accepted brethren whom tyrant he calls free, lay the bound or build the roof, nor pale religious lechery, call that virginity that wishes but acts not, for everything that lives is holy. <laughs>